This video will discuss dosing calculations based on age. There will also be practice problems at the end of the video. So there are three formulas that you have to remember. Yung Young's rule, Cowling's rule, and Fried's rule. Now take note that these formulas aren't actually used in clinical practice since mas accurate yung body surface area. The reason why we're studying this is because baka lalabas to sa board exam. So as you can see here, all of the formulas will be multiplied by the adult dose. The only problem that we have to deal with is to memorize these parts and yung constants. So I have visual mnemonics prepared para mapadali yung memorization. So for Young's rule, the formula is age in years over age plus 12 times adult dose. So if you're familiar with young sardines, this is the basis of the visual mnemonic. So here you can see na year, so age in years plus 12. So age in years over age plus 12 times the adult dose. So for Cowling's rule naman, the dose for the child will be calculated using the age next birthday in years over 24 times the adult dose. So in the visual mnemonic here, my advanced happy birthday, because this refers to the age next birthday in years. As you can see, yung cake is cow themed to signify na cowling's rule to. And 24th birthday niya for 24. As you can see, my line dito to indicate na I divide to siya to by 24. As you can see here, then my line. Okay, so next naman is Fried's rule for infants. As you can see here, I put Jolly BB since Fried's rule is automatic for infants. So infants signify one month to one year. So, okay, so let's go to the practice problems. An oral solution gives 75 milligrams of active drug per ml. How many milligrams of the active drug would there be for a dose fit for a six-year-old using Young's rule? So if you recall, the formula for Young's rule is age in years over age plus 12 times the adult dose. So since 6 year old yung bata, 6 for 6 plus 12 times 75 is equal to 25. So that would be 25 milligrams for the 6 year old. Okay, next. Calculate the pediatric dose for a drug with an adult dose of 120 mg for a child who is 5 years old, 45 inches tall, and weighs 35 pounds. Use Young's rule. Again, yung Young's rule, we will use age in years, and then age plus 12 times the adult dose. So, although my given a height and weight, this will not be used when asked to use Young's rule. So, 5 years... For 5 plus 12 times 120 mg, this is equals to 35.29 mg. Okay, next. Using Cowling's rule, what would be the dose for a 4-year-old boy who is 40 inches tall and weighs 45 pounds? The adult dose is 180. So remember Cowling's rule, it will be the age next birthday in years. over 24 times the adult dose. So this will make it 5 over 24 times 180. Again, although my given a height and weight, hindi to magagamit when asked to use Cowling's rule. So 5 over 24 times 180, the dose for this 4-year-old boy will be 37.5 mg. Next. Over-the-counter dextromethorphan is available as 300 mg per 100 ml bottle. Using Cowling's rule, how many teaspoons should be given to a 7-year-old if the adult dose is 30 mg? So again, we will use Cowling's rule, age next birthday for 24 times the adult dose. So this will be 8 over 24 times 30, which is equals to 10 mg. However, the question asks how many teaspoons, so we will use dimensional analysis. So 300 mg per 100 ml is equals to 10 mg. Okay, 
this is equals to 3.3 ml. However, teaspoons yung question. So, 1 teaspoon is 5 ml. So, the answer to this one is 1.5 teaspoons. Okay. A baby boy who just turned one month is given an elixir. The usual adult dose is 12.5 ml. What would be the appropriate dose? So, yeah, so we will use Fried's rule for this one since Fried's rule is automatic for infants. So the dose is equal to age in months over 150 times the adult dose. So this would be 1 over 150 times 12.5 ml and this is equal to 0 0.083 ml. The physician prescribed a suspension for a 6-month-old baby girl. The normal adult dose is 40 mg every 6 hours. Calculate how much the baby should be given per day. Again, we will use Fried's rule for this one. So age in months over 150 times the adult dose. So 6 over 150 times 40 mg. This is equivalent to 1.6 mg. However, the question asks how much the baby should be given per day. So every 6 hours is equivalent to 4 times a day. So 1.6 mg times 4 is equal to 6.4 mg per day. The most accurate method in calculating children's dose based on weight and height is D, BSA. So BSA calculations is very useful not only for pedia patients but also for those in chemotherapy and especially for those na my limited therapeutic index na drugs. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you for watching.